Hello YouTube friends and welcome to an unboxing and review of this the Dymo Label Maker PNP that's plug and play label maker it's for PC or Mac I've just bought this um, it genuinely is the first time I've opened the box here we go um, I'm going to show you some shots of the sides so initially you're looking at uh, the front there on the side tells you what you have and the dimensions so in here we've got um, the label maker itself a starter cassette black on white 12 mil by 3 meters a USB cable a rechargeable battery quick start guide and a two-year warranty card helpline numbers instructions in various different languages and the dimensions so it's 142 high that's millimeters 47 wide the base is 53 wide and 136 long, weighs 320 grams. Um, the instructions on the back tell me that it says just plug, type and print, it's that easy. Connect via USB to PC or Mac. And there's tons and tons of uh, things, Windows 7 and Mac OS 10, 5, 8 or later, we've got that. No software to install, built-in software pops up on your computer screen, ready to use. Customise your label with any fonts or graphics on your computer. Uses 6mm, 9mm and 12mm Dymo D1 labels. A lithium iron battery recharges via USB connection. No power adapter or AA battery is required. Seems good. And what do we have there? Shows you the various different labels that you can get. So, let's see what's inside here. So inside we've got what looks like a cardboard carton and we can get rid of the outside box. Inside this carton there's the quick start guide um, which we'll read if we need to. Just put that there. There's a USB cable. There's the battery, the lithium ion battery as promised. And then, wrapped up nicely in there, is the unit itself. Finally, a cassette. So I'm going to have a quick look at the instructions and then we'll put this together. Okay, so I've got the uh, battery and the cassette out. Here's the Dymo machine and we're going to have a go at putting this together. We'll follow the instructions. So it says open the side cover on the label maker. Okay. Um, how do we do that then? There we go. That's the side cover open. And remove the battery compartment cover. Done that. Insert the battery as shown. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get this right. I think there's a couple of posts that will stop me putting it in the wrong way around at the bottom, so... Is that right? That seemed to click in. Good. So there is a, a one-way fit, I think. And then, replace the battery compartment cover. Good. Inserting... Oh, it tells me to close that, but I guess I want to actually put this in first. So here's the cassette label, and it shows me putting it in like so. There we go, it's clipped in. And close that. Good, we put it together. The next thing is the USB cable, so we'll open that up. Another one to lose somewhere. Here we go. So this should just plug into the um, the machine, which it does. And I've got ready for us um, a Mac. So we'll have a look if this works. Here's the Mac. Let me just grab it. OK, 
Okay. Let's see it. Get me so we can see the screen. That's a bit better, I think. Good. And um, we'll s plug in. Oh, the lights come on on the top. That's good. And down the bottom right hand side of my Mac, you can see we've got that. I'll just grab a mouse to make life easier. So let's have a look. That opens up, and that looks, I'm guessing, the one we want. Well, where, does it, does it, does it? Yes. Okay. So, as advertised, a little screen's opened up, and I'm going to uh, start typing, I think. So, let's put in the flying sigh. And I can choose the font from whatever's on the system, I suppose. So, good, that's doing all that stuff. That looks right. What should we go for? Quite fancy Garamond today. I want to italicize, I think. And we'll make it a bit bigger. Oh, that looks lovely. Right. So far, so good. Oh, bold I said, didn't I? Not underline. Why well, can't I embolden? Perhaps I've got it too big. Or maybe it's the font. I don't know. But we'll go for that. There we go, 12 min. Do, 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 do. It looks good, one copy. I'm going to press the button and see what happens. Yeah. Wish me luck. Oh. And this uh, scissor button looks promising. I'll push that. <gasps> well, it's a bit... It's not great. Is it? The, um... I'll just turn the light off. Hmm. You see, it's a bit bitty. Maybe it's because it's the first one. Shall we try that in um, a different font? It wanted to use Helsinki, didn't it? And we'll make 12. Let's try that. Here we go. That's not the right font. I thought I selected Helsinki. Goodness me. Hard days sometimes, aren't they? It seems intent on not giving me what I want. Hmm. Right, I'm going to print again. Ah, that's better. It's worked. So I think it just needed a, that first label through to get it working. Good. Well, I'm delighted. And as those of you in the know know, you um, split these labels down the back, I think. Peel the bit off. And then you can stick them to whatever you like. So I'll probably stick it to something useful. There you go. As it says on the tin, it's plug and play. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. Even I seem to be able to use it. So it's the Dymo label maker, the PMP, the plug and play model. And I hope that's helped you out a bit. Um, and I'm sorry that I don't know my way around it, but this was genuinely just as it comes out the box and seeing how it really works. So there you go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.